welcome back to True Story with John Gibson. Today we have my very favorite UFC light heavyweight, Odestis Bukowskis. How you doing, man? Doing very well, thank you. How about yourself, mate? Doing great, great. Thank you for asking. Um, so, for those that may be unaware, uh, Modestus has a big fight next weekend, September 4th. He's fighting uh, Khalil Roundtree. Uh, it's going to be a super dynamic, exciting fight. Uh, so, with that, man, can you just tell me, uh, you know, just detail a little bit about, again, how you're feeling and, and maybe share a little bit about your, your fight camp? Yeah, man. Uh, I'm feeling absolutely great. Uh, everything has went exactly to plan. Um, you know, my fight camp... I, I can't really necessarily call it a fight camp only in terms of, you know, everything just been ramped up slowly every single yeah. week. I've sort of just been training to improve for a very long time. Uh, I made changes in my training camp uh, after my last fight, uh, which needed to be addressed. And uh, I'm so happy that I did those things because uh, now it's just made me a whole more, uh, a whole better fighter, just made me just more of who I am, you know, more dynamic, more to the style that I really want to put out there in the UFC, uh, which is sort of was a, a little bit missing. Like I was trying to find the missing piece to the, to the jigsaw puzzle. And now, now I think I, I definitely think I found it. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, and in terms of that, I mean, everything, like I say, I've, I've, I've looked the sharpest, the best that I've ever been. And I can't wait to put it all out there on September the 4th. That's fantastic. That's great. I can't wait to see it, of course. Uh, so can you share maybe your thoughts about your, you know, your opponent? What do you think about uh, the Khalil or uh, Mr. Roundtree? Yeah, I mean, I've been watching, obviously, a lot of his fights, um, uh, you know, try, 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 trying to head up like all the strategy and the game plan for the fight. And he's, uh, you know, he's a uh, very good. He's very he's experienced, I think. Still, overall, I've got more fights than him. But uh, in terms of UFC experience and very high caliber experience, he's got a hell of a lot of that. Um, you know, he fought in the ultimate fights and stuff like that. He's a very powerful puncher, uh, you know, just a very powerful guy in general, good takedown defense as well um, in, in certain areas. So, you know, he, he's he's a very dangerous opponent and a very good name. So, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for me to go out there and really uh, show my full skill set. Yeah, absolutely. You know, one thing, um, you know, again, as a fan and as someone that is many times as, you know, we've talked in that interaction too, I, I follow you so closely and I've been really this is me trying to pay you a compliment. I've been really <laughs> impressed with the way you've stayed so active and not just uh, over, you know, in between fights, really, I'll say largely over the last year and a half. Um, you were one of the busiest fighters I've ever seen. And I talk to a lot of fighters and it's, <laughs> you know, a lot of them, will they're busy and then they take time off and y y there's kind of a, I don't know, you know, anyway. So I just say that to, to say this, you know, what do you credit that to? You're just constantly trying to evolve or are you just like, a go-getter what is that yeah, i mean th there's a lot of things i've got i've got a lot of big goals in mind that i want to achieve as well by a certain time and you know in order for me to achieve those goals i need to keep fighting and keep winning and keep being in that uh you know in that environment being in the ufc i think the more you compete the more you feel the cage and that's that, that's a big thing for me i think for me to feel more comfortable in there to be more confident stuff like that i just need to get in the cage like more often especially at, the, at such a high level uh, yeah. another reason as well i mean Obviously, coming off of losses, you just want to get back in there as well as soon as possible. But also, uh, you, you do want to take time out to sort of improve particular skill sets to make sure that you're sort of evolving in those in in those areas. But then also at the same time, I I think it, the, the the difference in my training is, I mean, it's not necessarily a, a I think especially at this level a discrepancy in skill set. Now it's more about how you're able to put things together, how you're able to actually use your skill set to the fullest capabilities and and what you have. And I think you know everyone can wrestle, everyone's got jiu-jitsu, everyone's got striking, but how are you going to use your tendencies to the best way possible to outwit, outsmart, and you know overpower your uh, your opponent? So and that's essentially what what I've been doing and. Uh, Every single week, I was seeing improvement after after improvement. You know, at the start, it was a bit rocky. You know, trying to learn, uh, trying to learn the, the, this better sort of way of fight, bringing myself out more, getting the cardio right, and stuff like that. And then slowly but surely, it was getting better and better. And then, you know, by that point, the confidence is growing. Then I'm like, you know, I just want to get back in there again. I really want to prove myself. I think obviously coming off of losses, you want to go out there and like not only to redeem yourself, but also just to just to prove what you're really all about. And you know. Yeah. Uh, I really want to go out there and, and, and do that. So that's another thing. And, you know, come on, man. Like, you know what it's like, you know, when you win, everything's great. But when you lose, things are things are not so yes. great in terms yeah. of even financially, sponsor-wise yeah. and, 
and uh, you know, um, and and a whole load of a whole load of other factors as well that makes me want to you know stay in there because this is the only paycheck that I'm getting. So right. uh, obviously now I've got, I've got I've got to give a massive thank you, obviously to a lot of sponsors as well that have been really helping me, which sure. has helped keep me afloat all the way until the next fights and stuff like that. But you know, I want to be that. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to say I want to be that celebrity. I, w- I want to be out there in the media. I want to be known. I want, I want people to know who I am. I want, I want to make amazing fights, amazing performance. I want people to go after my fights and think, damn, that guy's, that guy's a dangerous dude. Like I want people to be talking about me in that sense. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I actually get inspired like from fighters like Sean O'Malley going out there, doing this thing, being mm-hmm. un- unapologetically himself, you know, doing what he's got to do. And, and this is exactly what I want to do. You know, the UFC is, has consistently given me tough opponents and, and I really appreciate that because it yeah. means that they do believe in what I've, uh, in, in, in my, in my skill set. So all, all that's left is for me to go out there and perform. And uh, I can assure you that I'm definitely feeling very good about September 4th. I've got a, a, a great challenge in front of me. Uh, you know, I've, He's he's sort of been like a been like an idol to me, so it's almost like a situation where your idol become rivals because uh, it's an interesting you know, opponent, man. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was watching him on the Ultimate Fighter, you know. Right. I think when I when I just turned pro, and you know, seeing him like smash it up and do his thing, you know, I looked up to that. Uh, I remember watching it with my dad, and now he's going to be standing across the cage in front of me. So it's a very exciting time, man. You know, it's super exciting, and thank you for all of that man thank you for being so honest with that answer and and if it helps build you at all let i want to try to do that because you said a couple things i just have to kind of acknowledge but what what to your first point you step up and man that's a large reason why me and so many others became your fan you were one of those first fighters to put your hand up raise your hand and go to fight island when the whole world the whole world was in chaos and we didn't Mm -hmm. know what was next you said i'll fight and then you went out there and you dominated, you know, um, you had a great performance. So like, I think that, and you're still that fighter. You're still that guy raising your hand saying, I want to fight. So I wanted to acknowledge that. And then to your second point, you should have no shame. You, you, you're right on track. I love every word you said, you keep being you, you know, <laughs> there's no shame in saying, I want to be the best and going out there and, and proving it with your skills. And you have all the tools, man. You, you were, you've won fight of the night for a reason. You're dynamic. Some of your stand-up, not some, but you have some of the most sharp stand-up I've ever seen. But that that knockout power is just sick. It's, it's and you've got great great skills. And coming out of the UK, that's really special. You know that makes you an outlier. So I'm so excited. Um, I agree, man. Your opponent, if if you weren't fighting him, I would root for him. <laughs> so, so I understand. I understand. Completely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a very likable fighter. You know, he's been on Joe Rogan's podcast, so you know he's he he's very well known within the community. And uh, yeah, this is a great opportunity for me yes. to 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 go and steal a bit of, steal a bit of that shine. Do you know what I mean? I mean, yes. both of us are coming off of uh, coming off of uh, two losses at the end of the day. So yeah, this this really is a situation where you know it's a bit of a do or die. And uh, this is where I've definitely taken on a mentality, a, a true gladiator mentality of I really don't care if I end up dying in there because. Mm at the end of the day, I, but what I would want to go out there and do is to put on the absolute best performance I've, I've had in my life. I literally put it all out there, leave no stone on turn, no regrets. Um, go out there and fight with, fight with that fear, just, just sort of bringing you along and, and literally putting all the best skill sets out of you. Just having, having everything thrown out there, leaving enough, like I said, leave no stone unturned. Um, leaving nothing to the question like oh what if i would have done that now i did absolutely everything so that's the mentality i'm going into in this fight man i got chills (laughs) (laughs) i can't wait to see it you know i can't wait to see it i think with that you know i'll give you the rest of your day back to let you heal uh and rest recuperate um, I want you to know, of course, I'm rooting for you. I will be watching every moment. Um, and I'll, I'm going to message you afterwards. No matter what, you'll hear from me. But uh, me and many others are rooting for you. And I cannot wait to see that. Mate, I really appreciate it. It's always, like I say, a pleasure talking to you. I love your energy and good spirits, man. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that good vibes and good energy uh, along with me today in my last training session. Uh, it definitely always make me feel good, mate. I really appreciate that. And uh, yeah. In return as well, I'm going to make sure I put on the best performance to September 4th. And, and I can't wait to go out there and do that and then speak to you after, after a big victory. That's right, brother. I can't wait to see it, man. Have a great night. Right. 
Nice one, brother. Thank you so much. You have a lovely day, yeah? You too. Thank you, Take man. Care.